I told Clark Clifford a long time last night. He thinks that we are, we would just be idiotic for, uh, to ask for a new resolution. He says that that resolution cannot be plainer than it is, that it uh, is unlimited, that you cannot sit to what you do. You imply that you question yourself about what you've been doing. You, you, you imply to the people that, well, hell, you didn't have authority all along. I said the first thing you've got to do is make abundantly clear that you got all the authority you need as commander-in-chief. 160 times you've gone in. Number two, you've got to make it clear that this treaty requires you to stand up to your commitment. Number three, you've got to make it clear you wouldn't exercise any of these troops, wouldn't put them out there, and wouldn't start the bombing. Until they said they go in with us and we're all together and we're one nation united and divisible. Now then he said, you come along and say, well, uh, I want a new resolution. Uh, you imply that you did something wrong with this one. And said, would this one just last 18 months like the last one? And where the hell would you be? He said, well, uh, in the Florida debate, um, in the Senate, uh, it was pointed out and that uh, the president has this authority. Yeah. And that this is a case of uh, the Congress uh, joining with the president. That's right. Several of them made that point. That's right. Now, uh, I think uh, I think that'd be one good thing, though, for George to point out that there's 160 times the president has gone in without a declaration of war to protect the interests of the United States. That we, the president, has this constitutional power. I think this I have 125. Well, well, whatever it is, yeah. let him get it. They told me 163. Yeah. Uh, but you know, whatever it is, and uh, or 23, I don't care. Just just yeah. just assert that he has it. Right.